Fogado. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to replace the cabin filter of your W204. All that coming right up. In a previous video, I spoke about how, yes, it is very beneficial to learn how to do the harder things, therefore you can save money. But it is also very beneficial to also learn how to do the easier things. That way you don't even have to pay someone to do that as well. So, you know, this channel is really all about DIY, doing things yourself. That way you can save that money, expand your knowledge, gain mechanical skills, and also become more effective with tools in general. Another thing I also wanted to bring to your attention, if you did not know, is that the W204 also has a common fault where it relates directly to the air conditioning. And what happens in this case is the air con begins to let off a very foul mildew smell. And the reason why this happens is, over a long period of time, the evaporative core for your air conditioning, which is positioned basically behind your dash, roughly in the center and this thing is very hard to get to that's why they make a couple of products where you can use it in order to get to your evaporative core thereby which you can take care of that mold smell because what happens is the mold builds onto the evaporative core itself it's not on the cabin filter although the cabin filter can play a a part in the bad smell that you get from your aircon but it isn't the source the source of the bad smell is coming from your evaporative core hence why that bad smell comes through when you turn on your aircon there are a couple of ways to tackle this when I first got my car I had this issue and it was putrid every time I went to turn on the air conditioning I would get this foul smell and really it isn't healthy for your system because you are breathing in mold and as we know mold can make you very sick after about half an hour to 45 minutes of driving i would begin to get this headache and you know it really does affect your health so it is something that you definitely want to take care of when you can now i'm going to show you the way i took care of the problem and it really is as simple as what i did now there are other ways to tackle this issue but i'm going to show you the way i did it and honestly 100 percent it took care of the smell and i no longer have that issue at all just to briefly explain what i did one, I removed the old um, cabin filter, but at the same time, I also used a air conditioning mold bomb, a product in which where you shake the can for about a minute or two, and then you let it off in your car, and you allow the car to recirculate as the aircon bomb is going off. And this is the product I'm talking about right here. They sell these in most automotive stores or even places like eBay. And this is exactly what I used in order to get rid of my um, bad aircon smell. But I also did a couple of other little things in order to make sure that I took care of the smell. So in the process, while I have the cabin filter out, I'm going to show you guys exactly how I went about tackling this bad aircon smell issue. In case this problem ever occurs whilst owning your W204. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is start to remove the cabin filter so it's usually on your passenger side right underneath your glove box so here's your glove box here we want to go underneath and remove this lower panel so there are three screws you need to remove okay they're t20 there's one here one here and another one right here you need to remove all three of these so that you can lower this lower panel one two three we can lower this panel and uh, we can already see the cabin filter once we lower the panel we need to disconnect this light you don't pull it out you just turn it and you pull the whole bulb out like so in order to remove this we have to remove the carpet so that we can get rid of this completely that way it's not in the way as we're doing it we'll remove our carpet don't lose your screws. Take the carpet out. Pull it out. All right, now with the carpet removed, we need to pull this carpet back. Remove this foam piece. Just pull it back. And get this foam piece back. Okay, we'll pull this foam piece out. 
and then we can see that behind here is where the rest of this sits so we need to get rid of this so that we can have all this more space hey when i pull this out i'll show you what i mean okay so this comes out there is this piece here and that sits behind this lower panel here that sits inside there and this here sits under the carpet that's why you have to remove the carpet and also pull the carpet back and the foam back just so that you can get this out that way now we have all this room to work on the cabin filter which is right there usually you're going to have two silver clips on either side of your cabin filter there's going to be one on this side and one on this side you need to pry them off without losing them and then once you pry them off you can remove your cabin filter by sliding that across and then pulling it straight down and that's it that's how easy it is to remove your cabin filter now that we have the cabin filter removed this would be the time in order to take care of that smelly aircon smell and so what you're going to need now is simply a can of disinfectant in america i believe you guys have lysol get a disinfectant spray whatever smell you like and this is the time where you would want to spray it directly into the compartment where the cabin filter goes you want to spray it on an angle that will get it towards the center and also when you're doing this you want to make sure that you turn your car on recirculation but that way it's pulling the disinfectant to the evaporative core thereby getting the disinfectant directly onto where the mold is building up that's the only way you're going to try and take care of this issue as best as you can another thing you want to also do is spray this below your windscreen where the w204 pulls fresh air from outside and pulls it into the car both of these vents the cabin filter and the vent below your windscreen will lead to the evaporative core and when you're spraying it from the vent below your windscreen you need to make sure that you take off recirculation and press the other circulation button so that it's pulling air from outside to your evaporative core this is what i'm talking about below your windscreen so you see the vent here you see the mesh here this is where it pulls outside air into your air conditioning it's the same thing as removing your air box you just have to remove three clips okay there's one here one you pull up here and another one that you just push to the side here and then you can remove this air box you can just spray it inside these two rectangular vents this air vent here simply sucks air down and goes into this compartment in which it then goes through the blower motor which is just there and that's what allows the air to travel through the car honestly this is exactly what i did and it worked a treat another thing i also did was i got one of these air conditioning bombs that you can buy from any automotive store and i let it off in my car just follow the instructions on the back of the box and you will be good to go and when you do this it's best to have your cabin filter out that way it can go directly to your evaporative core without having to go through this filter just to get to your evaporative core there is another product you can use which is designed specifically for this issue and this is the product i'm talking about right here it is a more expensive product but this is exactly what the professionals do they won't take apart your entire dash so they can go directly to your evaporative core that is going to just be one hell of a task and what they do is they will attach it to the can which produces a foam like product it allows them to reach your evaporative core using this long tube and that way they're able to spray this foam like um, disinfectant directly onto your evaporative core eating away all the mold that has built up on your evaporative core I didn't even have to do that all I did was the way I showed you right now where I just simply got some disinfectant and I sprayed it into the cabin filter compartment and also the compartment that allows fresh air to come into the car via the vents below your front windscreen but most important is that you have your car running when you're spraying it and have it on recirculation so that it will circulate through the car and keep tackling the mold as you're spraying it that's exactly how i tackled the bad aircon smell and it is very dangerous and can be very harmful to your well-being so this is definitely something that you want to take into account and do if for some reason the mold is starting to build on your evaporative cooler giving you that really bad aircon smell
if you think about it with moisture that's how mold builds so in order to tackle moisture when you do use your aircon just before you turn off the car maybe just allow the air from outside to travel into your car and thereby drying all the moisture that the aircon has built up from the evaporative core to you know inside your vents because moisture is the number one key to letting mold build so if you don't want mold to build you need to allow fresh air to come in dry up all that moisture therefore not allowing the environment to create any mold because all the moisture has dried up if you do that you can almost be sure that no mold is going to build because mold lives off moisture so if you get rid of moisture then more than likely you won't have that mold problem that's the important thing that I wanted to show you here today guys now we're just going to replace the cabin filter and um, we'll put everything back together and that will be that now we'll grab our new cabin filter reinstall it okay just like this push it all the way up So as you saw, you need to make sure that you push it the way the arrow points. There's an arrow on it which shows you which way to push it in order to lock it. That is our cabin filter replaced. Now we just have to put all the panels back and we're good to go. We need to slide this panel back in first. Push it back, get it behind like that. All right, now we're behind. There we go. Get our light bulb back in so it's out of the way. Push it back in, turn it clockwise to lock it back in. First you get it in, then you turn it clockwise, we are in. We can push this all the way back up. Now remember that all this has to go underneath everything. So we get our foam piece back, we'll put that back in, follow the way it curves. So that has to sit in like that. Now we can push back our carpet over everything else. And that's it. There you go. We'll put back our screws now. And now for the last one. Okay, that's it. There you have it guys. How to successfully tackle the common issue on the W204. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And as always, like, share, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell in order to keep up with the uploads. Until next time guys, this is Mike with Mikey's Vlogs.